Welcome to another video of Simprix. In today's video, we'll be talking about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Storage. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is next generation cloud infrastructure, which helps you to deploy any application much faster than any other platform. If you want to know what are the always free cloud services available by Oracle, I have already made a video on that and you can see that in the description below or the card above. So stay tuned in this video till the end to know everything about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Storage. Once you log in, you will be landing to this home page here. I'll just show you I have the free instances which I am running right now. Ubuntu Web Server, which is running AA Panel. AA Panel is a free web hosting service. You can have always free VM on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure and then you can install AA Panel on it. I need to add block volume to my existing Linux server. So let me show you how we'll do it. Boot volume by default comes in 50 GB. So out of 50 GB, 45 GB is usable. So you can have two block volume storages available to you. So two block volume means 200 GB in total you can have. Out of 200 GB, I have already used 50 GB as a boot volume. So I created another 100 GB for the data backup. So here is 100 GB storage that I have created. I can create more storage here by adding, for example, SyncPricks tutorial. I have 147 GB already used. So if I go 53 GB, it will allow me. And if I go 54 GB, it will not allow me because I'll be running out of the limit. So my limit is 200 GB. So I have already consumed 147 GB. So I'll be, if I create 50 GB more, so I can create 50 GB more and create the block volume. So it will create the block volume like this. So I'll keep that 50 GB available for my new VM. Here is my block volume, which is already available now. And I need to attach this particular block volume to my web server here. The list of instances and here is my instance. I have already attached the block volume. And in, in case you want to attach the block volume, you can click on attach block volume, choose the block volume, which is available to you once you choose and simply attach it. There are three options available, which is let the Oracle decide what type of block volume storage it is, or you can choose iSCSI or you can use para virtualized. So I'll be using iSCSI and here I have already used iSCSI and right now the disk is attached. I have logged in to this particular server using putty. If I show you the list of disks which are available right now, SDA is only the volume which is attached to it. And of course, this is not right now. We have attached it from here. We need to run few commands in Linux operating system to attach this particular storage to the server. So we'll be just clicking here, Linux command. I'll be copying this command from here to connect to the server and I'll be typing the command here. It is successfully connected. List of disk. SDB is already attached to my web server. I need to mount this volume in order to use this volume in my operating system. And all these commands are available here in the description below. I need to now format this disk. As you can see, the list is SDB. So I'll be choosing SDB here. It has already written the file system right now. And now we'll go to the next command. We'll create a new directory in the mount folder. I'll give it a name. It will be syncbricks data with sudo command. I'll create mkdir mount sync data. We have created the directory in MNT folder. I'll be mounting SDB volume to a mount directory. First of all, we'll be verifying it. We will be going to the mount directory. Inside this, you can see we have syncbrix data. In order to mount, we'll be typing the command sudo mount. Mount what you want to mount. We'll be mounting dev stb and we'll be mounting this to MNT mount folder and it has got syncbrix dash data. Now the STB volume is already mounted to the directory called syncbricks data. So it should not happen that when the server is restarted, so your volume is disconnected and on disconnect, it doesn't retry. So we need to run few commands here to make sure that this particular volume is again attached when your server restarts. So let us see how we can do it. We need to edit the FS tab, which is the configuration of storage. So we'll be just copying this and we will type this here. It will open the configuration file here. Inside the configuration file, just add this particular line and change the name of this mount path to the path which we just created, which was syncbricks data. Press Ctrl X and yes to save it. We'll just reboot the server, sudo reboot, lsblk, and here it is. You can see here 100 GB disk is mounted to 
SyncBricks data. And if I log into AA panel, you can see here 100 GB disk storage is available. The path is here. And if I go here to files, I can simply choose the directory here, mount in SyncBricks, create a new directory here, which will be backup. And I'll start adding the backups here. In settings, I'll be choosing this path here for the backup and click on save. Now you can see here, this is the backup directory. And in order to run the backup, I'll be going to Chrome job here. And in Chrome job, I'll be choosing backup sites, backup of all sites. I'll be choosing maximum three backups here and add the task. It has created a Chrome job here, which is backup all sites. I'll be just executing this to make sure that my backups is moving to the folder. We'll be again going back here, files, backups. You can see here the backup has started site backups is already started coming here now i will show you how you can make the backup of your block volume and boot volume you will see here that we have storage here and block volumes so this is my block volume i can simply click here create the clone so it will help you to clone this or create a manual backup so you can choose a manual backup so it will create the backup of your entire volume instantly with the boot volume also you can simply go here to the hamburger icon you can go to the list of your volumes click here and create clone and then backup policies now you can create the backup policy by yourself i will recommend you to use gold silver and bronze backup which is provided to you by oracle cloud infrastructure the paid services which are available is file store file storage object storage is like s3 buckets if i click on bucket here i have already created one bucket here i can create another bucket here by saying it sync bricks tutorial start adding the new files here i'll upload the file and i'll give it give the file name for example test image and select the file which you want to upload or i can select all the all of these as you can see here all these files are uploaded and closed any file that you want to keep the backup you can use this 20 gb of storage which is always free. So this was all about Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Storage. We have seen what is block storage, what is object storage, and what is file system. In block storage, we have seen how to create a new block volume and how to attach that with your Linux machine. If you want me to cover any specific aspect of Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, please give me a feedback in the comment section below. I'll be definitely getting back to you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. When you press the bell icon, you will get the notification whenever I upload new videos. So hope you like this video. See you in next video. Take care and goodbye.